Hello everyone, welcome to my one lap review. This is the page you get greeted with immediately after logging in and there are several tabs, event, quick play, career and options. So you can join races and events here and if you go to quick play you can just get started with either a workout or free ride straight away. I'll just take you to these tabs first of all and show you around here. You can see all your previous activities on the My Activities section, change your in-game equipment and uh, do some cycling challenges here. So if you're new to online biking or indoor cycling, I recommend starting here. So the Novice Challenge will just take you through um, the UI and how one lap works. And it gives you basic information that's useful for uh, all other apps and indoor racing in general. Um, here, moving on, you can go to an FTP test functional threshold power and I'd recommend doing that that's essential to know for training indoors and then it will explain the erg mode which I'll touch on here as well uh, but you really need to work your way through the tutorials to get the full information you can subscribe here and this just gives you information about rider levels in one lap in the options page you can pair your devices here we'll see that shortly and uh, change the type of bike you're using and just change some other visual settings here. I'll go back to quick play and just show you the workouts. So you have workouts from uh, endurance base up to tempo, then VO2 max capacity, anaerobic and a 40k TT effort. You've got some fat burning workouts here, which are just some general uh, workouts that I think you can use without a power meter. Um, and some test protocols as well, which are um, a welcome addition. You've got all round capacity tests, several FTP tests, and a ramp test, which you might find a little easier, mentally easier than doing the 20 minute FTP test. And then you've got a VO2 max effort test. So after doing the tutorials, you'll know how to use those. If we have a quick look, we've got some anaerobic intervals here and uh, several workouts on that page. We've got some VO2 max intervals and working our way downwards. We've got tempo here and finally we've got a zone 2 endurance base. So let's just start with a zone 2 endurance base workout and I'll click go here. So first of all, we're, we're in the workout uh, area. So at the moment, it seems to be sending me to this particular bit of scenery for workouts. And we have several views here, uh, which we can change. So we've got the uh, third person rider view. We've got a sort of um, different perspective motor or uh, third person rider view, we've got face on, drone camera and first person view which I prefer. And if you just take a look at the graphics, see what you think of them, I really rather like them. I'll just go through the UI here, we've got the workout steps here, so this is what we're going to be doing during the workout. If a step is too easy or too hard, you can adjust with the arrow keys here. I'm using a remote keyboard by the way, I'd highly recommend one. Um, very useful, I've just attached a lanyard as well into the battery compartment and that makes it nice and easy to hang on your handlebars. As you can see it's just moved on to the next workout step. We've got time remaining for the step down here. Cadence, cadence target, no cadence target for this workout power, power target, and heart rate. This is a graphical representation of the workout steps. And what's happening here is, is sending, one lap is sending the power target to my trainer, and my trainer is adjusting the resistance to ensure I stay at that target. If I pedal faster, my power will peak up, but the trainer will adjust the resistance to meet the target. I've got a bit of an inconsistent cadence there, 
I know it's struggling a bit, so it gives me a little prompt. Over here, we've got a rider list. We've got the ability to skip workout step, change the views using the mouse, and go to the menu button. So here, we can see our stats in real time, and we can also pair devices. So if I've, say, forgotten to pair my heart rate strap, I can do that on the fly without interrupting the workout. We haven't paired a speed sensor because I have my smart, smart trainer, and speed is calculated according to my power output and the virtual ter terrain. If I close here, it will ask me where I want to read power from. I can read it from my power meter or from my smart trainer. I'd usually choose my power meter. Okay, so that's really a quick rundown of the workout functions in one lap. The ramp up and ramp down of power is very smooth and uh, there's no notification of whether you fail a workout on the erg mode here because it's keeping me at the required power. Okay, so now I'm just going to move over to free ride. So I'm going to stop this by going to the menu up here and end ride. Click the game, yes. We've got stats here and the data curve here, which will, well, they call it data curve, is some charts and a line indicating five second power, one minute power, five minute and 20 minute power. And that could be useful if you're targeting specific power zones. Go to quick play, free ride. So there are many routes on one lap. And uh, if I go down, I can click here and we move to a different map. What I'm going to show you is just the new map and I'm going to ride Watsonville. So let's ride here and here we go. I'll start my Garmin at the same time. So we're on third person view. I'm just going to use my number keys to change to first person view. That's my preferred view. Now, in terms of graphics, I love the graphics on one lap. Uh, obviously, you're going to want to hear me compare to other applications. And so I'm going to choose Zwift as my comparator here. Uh, Zwift is very, very popular. And uh, uh, you'll hear my preferences in other videos. Uh, and here I prefer one lap. Uh, it's less gamified. I find the graphics are more realistic if you can assume some imaginary roads and worlds to be realistic. Uh, it's not got the rider numbers of Swift. If you look to the rider list there, there's no one riding at the same time as me. So at Pete Swift, you can get 40,000 riders online. Now, I don't understand this. I mean, Zwift has done a huge amount for eSports, but actually, for some people, particularly me, I don't find that it's the right app right now. One lap offers a polished interface, not quite the same customization and gamification, and we're lacking in training plans right now but the price is definitely far superior. For one month, you pay $4.99, £3.86 for me, and you get, as I say, a polished app, and really, you have everything you need. If you look up a bit of workout theory, 
or if you have a Garmin watch, it will tell you where your load focus should be and you can create your own training plan. Alternatively, you can use the extra money to grab a coach. Now I haven't seen the ability to create your own workouts or upload your own workouts, but they've got a, an extensive library and I think that can be very useful. If you're just starting out, I would recommend one lap. It's an excellent platform and it's exceedingly well polished. Okay, so now I'm just going to mute my microphone, pedal away and uh, take you up to the observatory and show you the views there. So look at that, nice views here, and if we carry on down, I'll show you a few more. So here we are, I've just been showing you some good views from the drone cam. The, the rider name tag sometimes hovers over your avatar, but uh, look at this view. So great graphics, great view, really good. Little bit about the One Lap community. Uh, there's a One Lap Facebook page and One Lap community Facebook page. Seemed to be quite quiet when I first joined not long ago, but it's picking up. And uh, I have no doubt that it will pick up massively with this competitive price. I'm going to stop my review here. And uh, exit the ride. So if we end ride, it will give us our power stats again. Here we are. Let's go back. Okay, so there's my one lap review. It comes in my highly recommended set of indoor training applications. And at that price, $4.99, $4.99 a month. And with those graphics and with a polished interface, all the options you need really, I'd highly recommend it. So give one lap a go. And uh, please subscribe to my channel. I'll have a few more reviews coming up shortly. Thank you for listening.